My name is Philip Worthington. I'm originally from uh, England. I was born in uh, a place called Winchester in England. But now I live in Toronto in Canada. Uh, I didn't change my name when I became a Muslim. I spoke to Aga Sistaning about changing my name and he said it's whatever you feel in your heart. If you feel good with that name, and I said yes I do because that name was given to me by my parents, so I have to respect them. But they were alive when I converted and they, they didn't have a problem, they, they didn't mind because they didn't have a religion. I didn't have a religion before, nothing. Uh, I became a Muslim uh, 42 years ago before marrying my wife who was a Muslim and uh, she taught me the religion from the, from the start, from the beginning and as she started teaching me things they all made sense and it's just it, everything is so basic and easy to follow um, and when I became my life changed because my finances, my life, my whole life changed. There was no looking back. I just went forward. And I don't think there is any other way of life for me now. This is my life. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, this is my sixth trip for Ziyarat. Uh, my first trip was for uh, 14 Masamin Ziyarat. Uh, my sixth trip to Iran and uh, Iraq. So did you go to Karabakh as well? Yes, I've been to Kabbalah six times before. I've done my Hajj in 2002 and I've done Umrah three times. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. What do you think about Ahlul Bayt? Ahlul Bayt uh, is, we follow them and Alhamdulillah we have to, we have to respect them and follow them and uh, honor them because these, these people taught us the way to go and they, and they will keep us on the right path. Alhamdulillah, uh, if we follow what, what they taught and, and what we should do, we, we will be fine. Any message for the Iranian youth? Uh, I just would like to say to the Iranian youth and the Iranian people that how lucky you are to be born with this religion. Um, you're born with it. I had to struggle not only with uh, my uh, family, my relatives, my colleagues at work, everyone. Um, when we lived in uh, England in a small village, it was very hard for my wife and me. When we had our children, we, we'd walk down the street with my wife was wearing hijab. People would look through the window to see who it was coming, you know, if, if we were like men from Mars, different people, you know. I just want to say, when I come to these countries, there's a feeling that comes inside. It's like nothing else you feel anywhere else in the world. When you, when you walk into these masjids, or when you even land in the country, there's a feeling that is inside your heart that is totally different from anything else that you've ever felt in your lifetime. And when you leave, it's like somebody has died. When you leave these countries, <laughs> Like somebody's left you left somebody behind. I'm sorry.